All right, we're going to talk about this Martin Lux pick. Let me try to get a good shot of it for you. Comes in a cool little container, which when I first saw it, I thought there's no way I'm going to keep up with that. Um, nice little soft bag also. Again, I thought no way I'm going to keep up with that, but uh, I actually just left the bag in there to fill up the space. And then I actually do use this because these picks are $20 a piece. So you don't want to lose it, right? Um, now I know a lot of y'all are saying $20 is a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a guitar pick when you could go get one for 50 cents. Um, I thought the same thing until very recently. I've been playing the guitar since I was 11, 34 now, so over 20 years, and uh, I was playing, I was picking very poorly for a long time, and like it didn't bother me when I would wear out one of my star picks, you know, and that's, I'm not talking smack about star picks, they've made me a lot of money over the last 20 years, but my point is, is I got into flat picking and really started focusing on being more precise and, and with my right hand especially, you know, um, and led me towards, you know, watching YouTube videos and doing the research on blue chips and Martin and, and stuff like that and tone slabs, all these different varieties of picks you can get. And they carried this one at my local music store. If you're near Monroe, Louisiana, Matt's Music is the place to go. Those guys are awesome, very uh, informed on their their product lineup. But anyway, this is a one millimeter pick. It's three different edges, corners, whatever. I'm trying to make sure it's staying focused for you. So initially I thought this round corner right here will be great for when I play the mandolin. And I'll use that one and that one for guitar, you know, and uh, see how long it lasts. And this one, this is the first one I bought. I've got two, I'm gonna buy two more. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. It took me about seven hours of hard playing to get to the point to where if you're a guitar player, uh, then you, and you, especially if you're a gigging musician, you know what I mean whenever I say that the pick will get scratchy. That edge right there, that bevel, start getting like, not just this pick, every guitar pick I've ever played eventually you wear that down and it starts just getting kind of scratchy you know sounding and it drives me crazy some people it doesn't bother so much and more power to you I wish I was one of those dudes that wasn't such a music snob at this point that I could just be okay with whatever but alas here we are so I played two three-hour gigs and two church services with this pick before it started getting all scratchy sounding and went and got another one. I realized that if you take this bag out, when you get this, there is that little piece of sandpaper. It's got a sticky back. It's loose in there. And when I saw that, I knew, okay, this isn't gonna be a buy one of these and play it forever type pick because if that were the case, you wouldn't, you wouldn't need the little piece of sandpaper to, to get your bevel back. But I really like it because after those seven hours of playing, I was able to just smooth it out, do my bevel. And there's a banjo. Ben Clark has a great video of how to put a speed bevel on any guitar pick. Um, and if you're interested in flat picking or anything like that and you haven't seen that video, if you don't know who Banjo Ben Clark is, you need to. So go check him out. But I really like these picks a lot. I noticed an immediate difference in my playing. Um, maybe it's because before I was using like a medium gauge pick. Uh, and this is a lot heavier than what I use. It's bright. I like a bright pick. Um... It does bother me that they're twenty dollars and they'll they will wear out fairly quickly. I would expect, honestly, um, for a twenty dollar guitar pick to at least last me a month or so. You know, and it, like I said earlier, I was really pushing it, and I, I gig hard, and I play pretty aggressive. Um, 
which this is helping with that. I'm starting to get cleaner and softer because um, I'm trying to be more precise and instead of just whacking my guitar strings. But, all right, so here's, let me see how I wanna put this. I'm gonna buy two more of these picks and I'm gonna stick them on my mic stand so if I drop my new pick, then I'll still be able to to grab one and, and have a, a good pick in my hands. But these are gonna be my backup picks from now on because, Now, I played two shows yesterday with this pick. Got my little name on there. I played two shows yesterday with this pick, and that's fingerprint smudge. You cannot tell that that bevel was affected at all. As a matter of fact, I don't think that that bevel was affected at all. Now, I can't really give an honest opinion on these blue chips yet because I've only played two shows with them. I got this pick in the mail yesterday. I played a, an evening gig and a late night gig. Um, probably four hours total. So not quite as long as the first two gigs I played the Martin pick with. But still enough to know that this theme, this thing seems way more indestructible than the Martin pick. So I'm gonna stick with this blue chip for a while. Like I said, it's going to be my number one pick, and those are going to be my little backups now. It'll be a great backup. Um, but honestly, after just a month or two of not using those star picks, I can't go back to them. And it's it's if you would have told me a few years ago that I would be that particular about a guitar pick, um, I'd probably laugh at you because before I would just pick up whatever was available. Um, I do like the, the fact that the Martin pick has different uh, angles on their pick. That way you can use it for different purposes or whatever. And basically on the TP48, and I could be very wrong, but it seems to be, they're all basically the same. That one might be a little different, but either way. Um, I really, I really like this pick a lot so far. And yeah, it's a $35 guitar pick, but Every video I've seen online, these guys, they're not wearing them out. And there's one guy in particular, another good channel for you to follow if you're a guitar player. Uh, it's 5 Watt World, I think is the name of the channel. Uh, that guy's really insightful and, and makes great videos. But I believe he said that he's been playing his, his uh, blue chip for like six months. And you can't even tell that like, he hasn't had any scratchy noise or anything. He doesn't have to dress it. And, and that's the one thing, uh, it's cool to be able to fix your Martin pick on the fly and you should be able to, to make it last a pretty good while for $20, but that blue chip, it seems so far as though I'm not gonna even have to have that issue. Um, the one thing I will say, this Martin pick is a little bit brighter than the TP48. I think part of that has to do with the bevel. Obviously the materials are gonna play into that also, but um, if you, if you're the type of guitar player that uses different picks for different things, then absolutely go get you one of these Martin picks and uh, and try it out. And you might really, really dig it. But uh, I do. I just think it would be a better backup pick than, than a main pick. Um, and again, be warned, if you've been playing for a while, or I guess even if not, if you're just progressing quickly, and you try one of these picks and you're not used to it, after that initial few minutes of, of warming up to the pick, I think you're gonna find that you don't wanna go back to uh, the old Tortex or Dunlop or Star Picks or whatever, you know. Um, but I hope that this video has been insightful and helpful uh, in your, your pick choosing you know, and I'm gonna make some videos of uh, actually using the picks so you can have some comparison. I just always feel like, really, those videos you can't you can't hear the tone even with headphones in and stuff. You can't hear the difference well enough unless you're in person. So I definitely suggest trying them out. Um, but I will, like I said, I'll make a couple of videos so you can at least attempt to hear a difference. Um, but yeah. 
I hope you guys like this video and uh, I hope you all uh, support people like Blue Chip that are making awesome picks and people like Martin that are making awesome picks and uh, keep on gigging.